everyone! So it is Vlogmas Day 5 and as you guys seem to enjoy my French literature TBR so much, I decided to do the Russian TBR. Um, I have five books here that have been sitting on my shelf that are written by Russian authors that I want to get to at some point in the near or distant future. Um, some of these I actually had plans to buddy read and then just kind of school got in the way. So. The first one I'm going to start with is in the Penguin Pocket Classic Edition, and it is Leo Tolstoy's The Cossacks and Hadij Murat. I actually had plans to read this with Yamini and Ange, and we just, we couldn't get it off the ground. It just, we were all really busy at the time, and it just didn't work out, sadly. Um, so the, the back says, because obviously I haven't read these, so I don't really know what they're about. I kind of just got them because it's Tolstoy, and I like Tolstoy. Um, so, two masterly Russian tales of freedom, fighting, and great warriors in the majestic mountains of the Caucasus, inspired by Tolstoy's years as a soldier living among the Cossack people. So, two stories dealing with, you know, the Cossack people and warriors, so it's, it's something I'm going to get to, it's just not super high on my priority list right now. I mean, I'm sad to say that about Tolstoy, but there's just so much else to read. Um, and then I also have Mikhail Bulgakov's The Master and Margarita. This was recommended to me by Yamini. She absolutely loves this. And I do need to get to this. I tried starting it once and I think I just couldn't get past the first state page. I wasn't in the mood for it. Um, this is apparently his like biggest work and my understanding of Bulgakov, which is a little bit shaky because obviously I haven't read anything by him yet, but that Stalin loved him, he thought he was fantastic, um, but he was really unsuccessful because his works were really subversive, um, so he didn't really get published a lot because Stalin protected him a little bit, but he was always kind of under watch because of subversive ideas. Um, so the this ribald carnivalesque satire featuring the devil, true love, and a gun-toting cat was written in the darkest days of the Soviet Union and became an underground sensation. I think this was published after his death. I think I'm not 100% sure, but this is like his masterpiece. So I might bring this home with me because I've been wanting to read this for like the better part of a year and I just haven't gotten to it. Um, next up is another Bulgakov and this was actually a gift from Yamini um, and it is A Country Doctor's Notebook. Um, she sent this to me for my birthday and so thank you Yamini. Um, and yeah, so with the ink still wet on his diploma, the 25 year old Dr. Mikhail Bulgakov was flung into the depths of rural Russia, which in 1916 to 1917 was still largely unaffected by such novelties as the motor car, the telephone, or electric light, how his alter ego copes, or fails to cope, with the new and often appalling responsibilities of a lone doctor in a vast country practice on the eve of revolution is described in Bulgakov's delightful blend of candid realism and imaginative exuberance. Um, this is in the vintage edition. I really like these editions. And <laughs> looking at all my books, and they're pretty much all red. Like, I, I get that the vintage, they're red spine, but like, the Penguin Pocket Classics are also red. It seems like Russia is very identified with red. Uh, so the next one is also was also a gift for my birthday from Yamini, and it is Dostoevsky's Crime and Pet Punishment. I have read The Devil um, and the Idiot by Dostoevsky, so I am moderately familiar with the author, but I haven't actually tackled some of his bigger works, so The Brothers Karmazov and Crime and Punishment. Um, so this will probably be the next one that I get to out of Dostoevsky's kind of bibliography. Um, a troubled young man commits the perfect crime, the murder of a vile pawnbroker no one will miss. Raskolinov is desperate for money, but convinces himself that his motive for killing is no benefit is to benefit mankind. So begins one of the greatest novels ever written, a journey into the criminal mind, a police thriller, and a philosophical mediation on morality and redemption. So this is, according to the back, it is Dostoevsky's finest masterpiece. So looking forward to that one. It's it's quite a chunker, so I don't know when I will have time to tackle such a big book just because grad school is busy, but I do really want to get to this. And then the last one was actually, I've had this for ages and I really should get to this. I feel really, a lot of these have been sitting on my shelf for a while and I just, I just haven't had time to pick them up. But this was, I saw this originally on Jean's channel and immediately went out and got it and then completely forgot about it. And I'm gonna butcher this last name, and I have every time I have tried. I get the Skaya. Um, names are really hard in Russian. So it is Ludmila Petrushevskaya. 
um, and that's probably the closest I have ever gotten to pronouncing that correctly. And the, it is, there once lived a woman who tried to kill her neighbor's baby. Scary fairy tales. If you don't know why I wanted to pick it up, obviously you might be on the wrong channel. So just, just from the title, I was like, yes, this is a thing I need in my life. Um, so she, when did she write? What are her dates? I haven't read this, so I have no idea. She wrote in like the 1980s, um, is my, yeah. Yeah, so, oh no, she was born in Moscow in 1938. Um, and apparently she's still alive. She's currently writing in Russia today. So she's a contemporary author. Um, but yeah, so she, you know, kind of more post Stalin writer, I would say, given, given the dates. Um, so I'm really excited to dig into this cause she's, she's quite well known for Russian literature, for modern Russian literature. I just, I haven't gotten around to it. I might take this home with me and force myself to read it because it's one of those things that's just been sitting on my shelf for far too long. Um, so those are the five books that I have of Russian literature on my shelf that I haven't read yet. Um, I'm really excited to dig into them. Like the French literature, it's just kind of, I get these kind of, I buy a lot of books and then I don't always get to them right away. And this is kind of, I like these types of videos because they're like, oh yeah, I remember I bought this and I was really excited to read it. And then I just never made it a priority. Um, so I will probably be trying to tackle some of these in the near future. And yeah, definitely crime and punishment might have to wait. It's a little bit of a tomb. It's, it's, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe wait until I'm done classes. So in the summer. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day six. Bye.